Welcome to another episode of the Mystified Tech Series. As we kick off the first meeting, I think I have the bragging right if I say that this is actually the first of its kind in my region. Kicking it over the past series yeah. and today, awesome, awesome content. Um, I'm excited. Um, there's some form of anxiety going on. I don't know why, because maybe I have a superstar legend on the show. But hey, we're going to make this work. So. When we come back, I'm going to introduce our guest and then we're going to get straight into it. So stay put and we're going to have fun. Yes, welcome back to the Power Series, the maiden edition of the Power Series. Today we have the legend, we mm -hmm. have the superstar, we have the, um, I mean, all the names we want to give here. Have... <laughs> <It's normal>. Okay. <laughs> all right. I have with me Dona Saka, the principal advocate for Microsoft Power Platform. Dona, welcome to the Power Series. Tech de demystified. I love it. Thank you, everyone, so much. And thank you, Samuel, for organizing this. Um, I am so happy to join you. I was in um, in Nigeria just a few weeks ago, I think three weeks ago, yep. in both Lagos and Abuja. And I had the privilege of meeting so many amazing people in both of these cities and talking to you all about why it's so important that we start this mission of less code and more power in the region focusing specifically on West and East Africa. So I'm sure all of you listening are aware that, you know, we are technical people. We understand code, we understand debugging, we understand, you know, office tools, et cetera. But we also look around and see millions of people around us all the time, whether it's our people we went to school with, people we work with, our family members, kids in our community, who don't understand that tech is the modern day superpower. It is the modern day literacy. So years ago, decades ago, centuries ago, when we used to live in caves, you have to excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. Um, when we used to live in caves, the people who knew how to read, like read communication between village and village and tribe and tribe, they were the ones with all the power because they were the ones with control of the information. So they knew, hey, there's a war over there or there's a famine over here. So because they had the power, they were the leaders of each tribe and each village. And it, it became this big gap between who is powerful and who is not powerful. And I feel that we've reached that again, because suddenly there's this huge gap between those who are coders and those who are not. And you can see right now that the top 10 most valuable companies in the world and the top 10 richest people, they're guess what? Software engineers, mm. right? They lead software companies. They write code or have at some point or another. And the wealth gap is growing and growing and growing. And I always ask myself the question, why is it that people in the USA are so much more ahead, right? Why, why is that true? And I don't like that because I don't think that's fair and I don't think that actually causes good behavior, good economics. So it's just a money question. It, this is not a good to have or a nice to have or a good thing to do for society. It's just a money question, right? Wealth should be something that's available to all and economic opportunity should be available to all. And I truly believe that the key to economic opportunity for the next 50 years is going to be technology. And I say that because I've seen it to be true the last time. And I see how many people who write software who create software make compared to people who don't create software. Just looking at even a company, um, you look at career paths of people who know how to write apps, write websites, write chatbots compared to people who don't. It's like a 200,000 US dollar difference. Good it's price, insane. Yeah. yeah, you can go to the same college mm -hmm. and you know get the same kind of grades, but those who have a CS degree easily make 200,000 times, or yeah. they make like 10 times more money than their colleagues. Yeah. And that's not fair, it's not right because it's just a skill. It's like any other skill. It's like blacksmithing or, you know, fixing cars. It's just a skill. So I believe anyone can learn the skill. And recently, I, I've always been a person who says everyone in the world should learn to code. I've always been that person. But recently, I've been having a lot of conversations with people and realizing 
what I'm really saying is anyone in the world should have the opportunity to build things to solve their problems. Yeah. And many of the problems are technical, right? You look around at all the documents that are being written today in your life, right? Um, I've never been to an institute in West Africa without signing in on a letter. <laughs> yeah. Right? It never happened. It doesn't matter if it's a government building, if it's a bank, if it's a school. Yep. It's even the freaking Microsoft office, I have to sign in on a ledger, like a sheet of paper. Mm-hmm. And every time, I'm like, what are you doing with this ledger? Stop, stop. <laughs> so you can replace the ledger with an app. Oh, you can, yeah. The same guy who monitors the ledger can still monitor the app. It's not, oh, come on, right? You can make an app that works offline too. So I know all about these offline programs. But my, my thing is that, look, Power Platform is a set of tools there to empower people to achieve economic opportunity. That's why it's there. Right. It gets rid of this whole, oh, you need a computer science degree. Oh, you need to go to a coding boot camp. Oh, you need your parents need to be rich. No, these things are not true. If you are willing to do the work, if you're willing to go tell other people about it, we can truly lift up West Africa and East Africa and Africa in general, because it, it's going to take all of us. It's going to take us technical people to do this work, right? Because we've left it in the hands of non-technical people for what generations that's going well. Right? No, it's not going well. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. going well. When you put it in the hands of technical people, that's when it's going to go well. Do we want to make other people who do we want to create opportunities for others to create tech? Absolutely, we do. How are we going to do that? By learning this tech and teaching others. Oh, so that's what Samuel's doing. doing. Yeah, it's what Samuel's doing. That's what probably all of you are doing. So I invite you to join me, join Samuel on this less code, more power journey. It's a global movement, and I wanted to start in West Africa. Thank you yes. so much for joining. It's it's a power movement. It's a global movement. Um, I remember mm-hmm. right a, right after our Abuja conversations when I came back, mm-hmm. you know, with all the excitement, with all the pomp, you know, and like, hey guys, let's get this moving. And some folks were like, "Are you crazy? Like, what's going over you? Like, what what's come over you? You just came back and you 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 just like everything. You're pushing power." I'm like, "Yes," because I feel that you know that's the next that's the next thing. So myself and my team sometimes we're sitting we're sitting there and I'm like. Hmm. Don't you think that we can apply power virtual agents to, you know, for even kids in you know, middle school and high school to do some? And it, we're just like brainstorming, figuring it out, just trying to see how best we can use, you know, the power platform to solve some of these problems. So I am excited. I'm really honored, yeah. even though you're under the weather, you joined us to make this yeah. start, to make this first one, a, you know, a huge thing. Yes, even though we had some, you know, earlier technical challenges, but we learned from it. Yeah. We make it better all the time. I, I just yeah. have a few questions for you, and mm-hmm. I'm sure that it's a common thing that people ask about the Power Platform. So mm-hmm. the first question is that people are asking, well, yes, you keep preaching that it's for even people with no coding experience. Um, yeah. How do I get started? Yes. So the there's so many tutorials and things out there. I think the key is to figure out what do you want to do, right? Um I, I think it's way easier to build an app than it is to build most things, but because I also know that I'm biased because I am an app developer and an operating system developer. So it, it depends on what you want to start with, right? And I'm a firm believer in starting with a problem you, you need to solve. So say you want to automate a ledger and have it be on a website. Go do the intro tutorial for Power Apps Portal. If you want to build an app, that helps you look at all of your expenses that you track in Excel right now and show them in an app. Do the Power Apps intro tutorial. If you want to make a chatbot to answer your customers' questions, make a Power Virtual Agent. It completely depends on what you want to do, but I recommend starting with one of those. Mm -hmm. But if you look up um, all of these intro Power Apps tutorials, they're all on MS Learn and they're all free. Right. So I tell, I point everyone who, if you want to learn to build an app, there's a Power Apps tutorial called... um, intro to canvas apps with uh, with power apps if you go to aka.ms slash power up it will take you there okay. i talk about them all the time it's a great intro level thing if you know how to use excel you know how to use this hmm. um and then if you don't have a subscription then i have steps on my linkedin on how exactly you can go get a trial azure subscription and build your own school or work account so you can actually do this work so if you do want to do this and you haven't figured out how ping me and i'll help you do it and I'll also send to samuel so he can publish out to all of you 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, I was actually going to ask the next thing because I know that um, to do a lot of stuff on the Power Platform, you need to have, yeah. you know, an account. And That's we know you have a 30-day trial to do all the Power Platform stuff. Yeah. So if you realize a couple of minutes ago before the show, I said I discovered something. So yeah. it so happens that, so this for everyone, um, in addition to donor steps, uh, there's also the Office 365 developer program. That That's actually right. gives you 12 months of free, you know, O365 access and all that. So oh, cool. I was just playing around with that. And I realized that if you do the O365 developer account, you'll be able to do that for a whole 12 months. That is awesome. You want that. <laughs> so that, that want... kind of like extends, yeah. that extends the 30 days yeah. to like... That's cool. Like, I'm going to go post that on LinkedIn as well because I'd completely forgotten about O365 developer account because I yeah. know about the home account, the enterprise account, yeah. but yeah, you can do the, the trial 12 months, try yeah. it out. Yeah. If it works for you, right? If it doesn't work, cool. Why? Yeah, we'll if it did work. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. 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 Yeah. So then the, the very, you know, final set of questions so we let you go mm -hmm. since it's just the yeah. meeting because um, mm -hmm. you need to relax because there's a lot going on mm -hmm. so um, apart from the various developer groups uh, mm -hmm. and we know that we have to we have a few in Nigeria though some inaugural ones Ghana's inaugural one is happening next month couple of weeks and that's also is going to kick off the 365 Saturday annual event so <laughs> there's there's a lot of great it. stuff going on um, so what kind of support or what kind of um let's say resource are the communities going to get especially for those that are wanting to join the very the local communities around them yeah uh, so i think rather than me telling you what you're going to get you tell me what you need right because one thing i've learned about west africa is that it is super different than most of the world often um one of the things that we hear a lot from in the US or in you know UK or Germany or something is we need help getting the word out. We said, okay, sure, we can help get the word out. I can go use my social media channels. We can send a newsletter, all this. But people in West Africa, you're all extremely social people, right? I've never met an <laughs> introverted African. That has never happened. Yeah. They're singing and singing all sorts of everywhere. So it's not like you don't know each other. You know each other. You know yeah. everybody in the game. And if there's an event, everybody knows about the event. It's mm. not a secret. Yeah. Right? So I think it depends on what you need. If it's getting together and finding out more tips and tricks like this, Samuel, like, hi, how do you try this for free without paying money? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Go get the O365 dev account. Go try that. If it's, hey, I don't have a local community of people to talk to, go form them. Right. We can help you form them. If it's, hey, tell us what's coming new for Microsoft, et cetera, we can definitely do that. Um, if it's, hey, be on this call and meet with other user group leaders, we can do that too. But ultimately, your local user group is going to be special to your local area. Yep. And we know every user group is so different. Just like, you know, within Lagos itself, two user groups, completely different. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it'll be, oh, traffic is horrendous. So getting there is really hard on a Thursday. Right. Um, the other day, it took me two and a half hours to yeah. go, like, maybe, maybe like half a mile on Victoria Island <laughs> in Lake. So I know if I'm going to an event that it's over there, um, just getting to the event is mm. quite the challenge. So mm. that's what you need. I will tell you, though, um, that I, of course, love West Africa and spend, like, way too much time there. I'm dragging along some people from Redmond in April. That's so going to be me, some people from Redmond, and we're putting on with Samuel, with some people in uh, Nigeria as well, a power platform tour of West Africa. Okay. Tune into things, right? Tune into Samuel streams. Go to the user groups. Go to the meetings, and you know, sharp up on the knowledge. Because yep. when I bring team people to, that's when you ask the hard questions. Yep. Right. That's when. Yep. How do you do this specific thing? Not what is Power Platform. Don't ask yep. those questions. Mm -hmm. Don't ask those. Questions. Instead, mm -hmm. I've built something by then. So mm -hmm. then, when product people come, you ask them the hard questions. Like, how come I can't do this? How come I can't share that? Or where's the connector for this? Or how do you automate that? Yep. Ask the hard. Questions. I'm bringing engineers. They know things. Right. So. I want, um, I'm going to bring some engineers. We're going to hit up three cities for sure so far, right? Lagos, Abuja, and Accra. 
And I want all of you to show up, ask the hard questions, learn the things, and improve what you've learned into being something you'll really use for your work in life. Yep. So that's happening April second week, I think. Yep. We're working on planning it out, but you know, Samuel is one of the organizers. He's going to help amplify and such such. But it is going to be. It's going to happen this year, or not this year, twenty twenty eight. Well, a couple of it's just well, a couple of weeks away, so we can still see. I know that's going to come up so fast. <laughs> yep. So all of them have like not that long to learn things and do things. Yeah. So get cracking, get learning, do all of the learning tutorials. They're all on MS Learn. There's a bunch on, you know, the Power Platform community sites. There's tons and tons of learning stuff out there. Go learn, go build things, and then get ready with hard questions because we really do want to engage with you. Yep, yep, yep. Awesome, awesome. Wow. All right, cool. I'm going to get back to resting because it is vacation and I'm dying of the Yep, cold. yep. So uh, we're going to uh, let Donna go rest. Okay. Donna, we really, really appreciate your time. Thank you so oh. much for giving us yeah. the time up, for supporting us. And believe yes. you me, we won't let you down. It's going to be mega. It's going um, to be massive. And I'm going to come crash another one of these before the world tour to make sure that <laughs> awesome. everyone is doing what they're supposed to. Okay. <laughs> we will do what we're supposed to do. Okay. Otherwise, I will yell because <laughs> Nigerians and Ghanaians, you're going to get yelled at. Okay. Sure, That's what's sure. going to happen. You're not sensitive people. I will yell at you. Sure. Okay. Sure. All, All right, right Donna. Talking. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll catch you later. Bye. Yeah. So. So that was Dona Saka, the principal advocate for Microsoft Power Platforms. You heard it right here. She's coming to Africa. Myself and a couple of community members were putting this together with our Nigerian counterpart, counterparts. We will make this work. So going forward, I just want to give you some insight into what the Power Series is all going to be about. So first of all, as Dona has kicked it off, uh, next Sunday, we're going to bring our counterpart from Nigeria uh to also join the the stream so this is how it's going to play out we're going to come up with series of you know show and tells tidbits tricks tips how to do stuff and we're going to continue this you know up until the tour and even beyond the tour so like like donna said the call to action for you find any local power platform community it could be power bi it could be power apps it could be power automate or it could be the power virtual agent find any local community that is doing that join them start building start learning and then be in anticipation for two events the first event is the global power bi sorry power platform bootcamp which is happening globally so find one happening close to you if you're in ghana we're hosting that and then the west african power platform tour which is happening on the west african sub region powered by dona and a group of you know community leads including myself if you're in ghana and following us three events the first one is coming up next month which is 11th which is the global which is a sorry the power platform 2020 ghana so it's an inaugural session for the ghana uh, the accra power platform user group and then also the annual event for business applications you don't want to miss this so this has been a very short but interesting stream i'm pumped i'm excited i'm energized encouraged I'm going to bring you more things, but um, before I sign off, uh, apologies for the the buffering in the stream and the um, um, the the, the non-smooth stream. Uh, there's a, there's a few technical challenges going on, but the stream is actually being recorded as well. So I will post the recorded version, which will give you a smooth um, um, watching or viewing pleasure. Until then, make sure you sign up, make sure you connect. If you have any questions. You have my social media feeds down there connect to me i'll share resources i'll share links with you and let our powers combine 